Welcome to the Raja Nichols channel. I'm Lady Gwendolyn, and this is going to be my self-converted minivan. I'm going to turn this used-to-be family vehicle into my She Shed on Wheels. Do the next step in here, um, which would be to wipe down all the walls and get all the grimy stuff off of it um and to get my ceilings and stuff done so those are the things that i want to do for today and i hope that you guys will stay tuned to find out how it turns out i cannot wait um to get a fully 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 clean van um to where i am comfortable with laying the floors so let me show you what the floors look like right now this is what the floors look like at this present moment um i have did a lot of cleaning in it um that would be in another video a previous video that i've already that I may have already uploaded. So you will get to see how I scrub clean all of this stuff right here and how I got out all the filth. Well, most of it. This one was the worst uh, little area once we pulled up the carpet and it looks way better. No grimy stuff in it. And here's the other one that was really bad and that one too. Here he is again, guys. I tried to get him to stay in the house, but that was a no go. He's an outdoors person just like his mama and a part of me wanted to delete this part out of the video but I actually wanted to be real and raw and and let people see that if you have kids like me they are a real part of your van life journey and I have to make sure that I don't exclude them because a lot of times I'm working during the week I'm a mom I'm a teacher I do a lot of different things and now that I'm trying to do this van build on the weekend it cuts in on their time and I'm usually taking them places like all over for the weekends but now since the accident and different things like that i have been at home working in my minivan so i don't want to deprive them and just so my moms who are out there working like me let's not wait until our kids get older and then say hey we're going to go out let part parenting be a part of your journey i don't know if you can hear that noise back there but that is my five-year-old who is jumping on top of a makeshift platform right here <clears throat> i cannot stand to see all of this um up here on the walls i mean on the ceilings and um i also want to get these handrails and stuff nice and clean the backs of my seats need to be nice and clean so my job today is going to be to just scrub 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 away to get my car nice and clean and smelling good that that is my goal for today so let's take a look at what the back of my someone to straighten this out and replace my bumper in the back it should be um drivable i cannot wait to oh my gosh there's my kid <laughs> I cannot wait to um, get myself on the road. I, I had started just a little bit with camping and different things like that. I, my daughter turned 10 and one of her, her birthday wishes was to go camping. And when we did that, it was, I, I really enjoyed it. And so I'm like, somewhere deep inside of me, I always, I always just wanted to go travel and see the world, like see natural things, not just travel in my car and just stay. But one thing about me, I never like to drive. Like anytime I got into the car, I would just go to sleep. <laughs> So I'm getting out of that mode and really ready to set, you know, set myself on the highway and just go see different things. So I'm hoping that I can do that this summer because I did have some of those things planned before my, uh, my accident. So I'm hoping that I can find someone to get this thing, the trunk of my car at least um, fixed so I can get back on the road by July. I have a few more months. What is it? This is March right now. So I have April, May, June, July. I have about four months to see if I can find someone who can um, um, straighten this out enough to where it can be approved by the Florida Department of Transportation or whatever it is so that I can get my title and get my car back on the road. Let me show you. It's looking really good. It's not as dirty as it was before, even in the cup holders. And I was able to scrub down this side looking clean i'm so super excited yeah i'm gonna be all that i'm gonna do for today i got started really really late um because i was tired today i literally did not get out of the like physically get out of the bed till about two o'clock today so i didn't do as much as i normally do in my kiddo game Mommy, I made something what do you want to come see in a minute okay what did you make I made that, that thing that I was actually put out a cardboard box. Um, 
Okay. Really? Y'all, this is what he's doing. Look at him. I don't know if you can see him over there. Past the trees. <laughs> I think he broke it. Mommy. Yeah? Did you hear that thing? I did. Because I, I ran super fast in there. <sighs> I cannot wait to travel and explore with my kiddos. Now, of course, they won't be traveling in this vehicle with me. Um, I am trying to make this like my own little she shed on wheels um, for my own little my own little spot. So, if my when whenever my family travels with us, we're just gonna have to find another way to do that. Um, I don't know, or maybe we could drive two vehicles, which. I don't think that's a good idea. We may just rent something. But um, this is going to be <clears throat> my little travel spot, not for the family. I mean, my husband can come. It'll be a setup for two people. But but for the kiddos, no, we may end up just renting something to take the family camping and exploring in. But yeah, I cannot wait. I'm hoping at some point I can finish um, this summer with this and get someone to... Um, fix the back of my car and get it to the the spot where um um the department of transportation or whatever will give me back my title so that's what i'm looking for right now because they did total the car and in order for me to legally drive it again i have to get it fixed and back up to par but um again thank you guys for coming and watching the R rouser nichols channel for those of you who are here i appreciate you being here and hopefully I will um, keep you interested in this van build and you can get to see me um, with no experience build out my minivan and begin traveling first here in Florida and then hopefully um, throughout the United States and then abroad. Um, one of the main things my myself and my my kids at least want to do is see snow. We have never seen snow before, so that is definitely something that I want to accomplish in my life. But until then, I will see you all later. And if you like this video, please consider joining or I'm sorry, liking my video and subscribing. And I'll see you guys again. It is it is a slow process, but it is one that I love to do because it gives me that. Um, oh, there is my. I was looking for those. I'm off task. Um. Hi. Hi. Bingo. What wood thing? I put in here and then I just fell down. Oh, like a seesaw, like a, like a thing. Um, it's over there. Oh.